How's everybody? Excellent, excellent, excellent. What I'm most impressed with, uh, uh, I think we played okay. I think we played okay. I think we've done some things, some some really good things in areas that I think we needed to get better at. But I still think I'm, I'm more concerned about the things we didn't do so well, third down, red zone. So that's our focus to make sure we lock in and make sure we got to do a better job of executing. What are your thoughts on, on Julio Jones and his performance? He hit 20 miles an hour, over 20 miles an hour on that 48 yard grab and nearly did the same thing on one of those end arounds. Well, I, I, I've been seeing it here. You know, I've been seeing him being that explosive. So it's nothing new to me. It's nothing. That's really what he's been since he came through the door. Uh, he's came through. He came through the door like that. Like I told you guys, him and Tom were connecting at a, ex, a great level during the summer. So it's good to see him out there rolling the way he was rolling. But we're just focused on the next game. We got a big game here Sunday. It's rare though when, it, when you have a guy that's that's over the age of thirty and, and he's doing that type of stuff. When he's your guy that's kind of you know lining up and, and kind of doing it all. Yeah, but our quarterback's 45, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> we are? Yes, the NFL just came out with the, you guys are the oldest team in the NFL. Quite sure Tom got a lot to do with that. <laughs> Arnold, you've got a number of receivers that have kind of been in and out of practice, and, and, you know, that's always a thing, right, with older players, whether it's Julio. How concerning is that, or how difficult is that? And you obviously would rather have them there, right? But, like, is it, you know, guys don't always play better? You, what's your experience with veteran players that don't practice? Well, it's always different. You know, you, you hopefully you got veteran guys that know how to miss days and still show up for the games, right? Because as the season get longer, as we add longer, add, add another game, there's elements of that in football. Uh, football's a violent game, violent game, and it's hard to, sometimes when you're watching it on TV, you don't understand that. Uh, it's a lot of sore bodies on Mondays, so you have that throughout the year, so that's part of it. That's part of the year. That's part of the season. That's part of being in the National Football League, honestly. That's part of it, just being able to have longevity with the beating that everyone take every week. Byron, you mentioned the, the red zone issue Sunday. Without giving anything away, is there something you point to as, as a common thread and, and why you guys weren't able to get the end zone? Uh, a couple things happened that's really irrelevant, but we can't allow to happen, really. We just can't allow that to, those things to happen. And we just got to do a better job of executing, really. It comes down to executing. And maybe I can, do, I can do a better job of putting us in position better to have more success down there. That's really how I see it. I think I can do a better job of putting us in position to have success. Lamar, one of the reasons you guys have not been successful against the Saints is they've won the turnover margin. It's yep. not all on top, right? There's protection issues, sometimes receivers run, run the wrong route. But when your best player is responsible for some of those, those key turnovers, what, what do you do to minimize that or, or find ways to, to not turn the ball over? Well, you become aware of it, right? We're aware of it. Uh, you don't win games in this league turning the ball over. I don't care who you are, who's playing, who you're playing against. So we understand that. We know we got to do a better job of protecting the football if you want to win against anyone, right? Especially against a good football team, especially against the team we're facing on Sunday. So we're working on it throughout this week, make sure we protect the football. And that's, that's football. You turn the ball over, it's a good chance you're going to lose in this league. Everybody in that locker room knows. So we're trying to make sure we go out here and do a better job of that. Can you talk about the um, balance? Because it was something like last year that you say, yeah, we want to run it more. We want to be more balanced. And then Tom would go out and, and fling it, and, and it wouldn't matter. But we saw like that obviously have an emphasis in week one and, and just how much of an emphasis it's been for you guys to sort of change that narrative. Well, you guys always said that we should be more balanced. The way that I see it is prepare and be multiple and be able to do whatever you need to do to win that game that day. That's kind of how I view it. I don't, I don't look in, at the game of football and saying you have to be balanced. You have to run it 50 times. You have to throw it 50 times. I don't view the game that way. I think you want to be multiple. And whatever is required to win that football game that day, are you good enough to get that done? Are you capable of getting that accomplished? And that's what we practice. We try to practice in that way that we have multiple ways that we can win football games. And whatever that is, we're going to try to do that to the best of our ability. What do you say about the blocking efforts of Coe Keith out there? Uh, I think we did a good job by everyone, not just Co. I think we did a good job of getting the hat on the hat, getting movement at the line of scrimmage. And 
when you do those things, you tend to run the ball well. Byron, can you speak just to the athleticism of those guys up front? Obviously, you're able to do a lot of things with them to help out Leonard Sunday night. Yeah, that's just that's who we have out there, and we got to play to the guys that we have out there. Uh, these guys, have, I told you guys, these guys have been doing a great job, a hell of a job all summer long, all summer long preparing, getting themselves ready to play this year to the best of their ability. Every individual in that locker, they come to work every day. They do whatever is required of them to help us win football games, and that's really what you saw Sunday night. Uh, you saw a bunch of guys playing together, playing for each other, and that's the results you get when you do that. Coach, we've seen the, the fullback position come back in this offense, and it hasn't really been there the last few years. What did you see to, to reinvent that and put that back into your play call and, and the way you're – Well, see, I don't see Coe as a fullback. You know, that's limiting what Coe can do, really. I just see it as we've always had guys back there, moved them back there. It's just depending on what year, who we have from a personnel standpoint. We actually put Cam back there some last year. So it's not that I really see Coe as a fullback. We're just trying to be multiple. Like I said earlier, we want to be multiple, be able to do enough things to have multiple ways to try to win football games. The last time you did score was the, the fade, obviously the great catch by Mike. And, and I know that play is in everybody's playbook, right? And, and it seems to be a signature almost of, of, of you know, Mike. Just how reliable is that when you get the coverage, Tom throwing it, is that as good a play as there is? Uh, how do I answer that? Uh, <laughs> I'll say it's worked out for us some. It's worked out for us some, but we're just trying to get in the best position to score. That's what it really comes down to, really. We work on everything, really. Yeah. It's just if we get certain looks, we get to certain things, and that's part of football. We want to play the game on our terms as much as we can, as, as much as possible as we can. So. We're just trying to attack people to whichever shows up, whichever way shows up. We're just trying to attack people and do our job and get the ball in the end zone. I know you're not forcing it, but is that a hard – you're a quarterback. Is that, is that a hard – though? You know, how do you know when it's back shoulder, back pile on? What are, you know? Well, Mike kind of equals that out. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's whatever it need to be sometimes. And that just goes to show you about the two players, the guy that's throwing the ball – and the guy that's catching the ball, really. That's the talent of those two. And as, as in sync as those two is, that's what you really see once we get – once you, once those guys step on the grass, they have an understanding of each other where they can make those type of plays. Byron, can you talk a little bit about the maturation off the field of Leonard uh, 2020? You know, he had some issues with, with Coach Arians. They worked it out. And now he's a top ten back that you depend on week in, week out. Uh, how much credit do you give him in terms of attitude? Oh, I give him all of it. Uh, obviously, it was tough when he first came in, right? He first came in, it was this different situation as he's ever been through probably in his life. I've been around those players. I've been in the locker room, so I understood that. I understood what t how tough a moment it was for him. But I know the, the guy. The guy's a great guy. And we, we knew once we got through that, that this guy will show up because he's talented as could be. He loves his teammates. He's all of really about team, really. So to see him having the success he's had since he's come here, really, especially when it was a little bumpy early. I don't think it's. I don't think it was as bad as most people think, but it was a little bumpy. But I just think he's a good dude. I think he's a good guy that loves being around his teammates, love the game of football. He just wanted to contribute. He wanted to contribute and help this team win. And sometimes guys showcase themselves in that way. Understandable from my part. I've been in the locker room. I understand how that can happen. But the most important thing is how he responded to what we said to him and what had to happen for us moving forward. You love the way he responded. I'm just happy he's having the success that he's having. And speaking of running backs, how about Rashad White? I mean, I know it's a learning process. Um, how much confidence do you have in him? And where do you think he needs to improve on? I have a, the ultimate confidence in him. He's done, he done nothing wrong in that ball game. So Rashad done zero things wrong in that ball game. So I love where he's at right now, and I have full confidence in him. Byron, you ran left so much. He ran left so much with Leonard Sunday night. Was that more of what Dallas was showing you? Or you had guys on the line, two were making their first start, a third guy, much of the game was a backup. Was that more confidence in them or what Dallas was showing you? 
we just try to do what we can to win the football game. Whatever that required, we'll just try to do those things to win the football game. Okay, thanks. Thank you.